The cash me outside, how about that girl? Has just been sentenced to five years of probation. In case you don't know who who she was, do we have a video? No, but just it's the Cash Me Outside. How about that girl from the Dr. Phil show? She went on. She was absolutely potentially the most ridiculous person you've ever seen. Just this little nothing of a person with a giant personality. Um, Fourteen-year-old Brigoli, Danielle Brigoli, it says according to the Daily Dot, pleaded guilty last month to two counts of grand theft auto, marijuana possession. And filing a false police report. Uh, she was sentenced to five years of probation Tuesday in Delray Beach, Florida, according to TMZ. Um, a judge allowed her to complete her probation in California, where she now lives with her mother, Barbara, Barbara, Barbara Ann. Um, thoughts, five words or less. Her probation will be outside. Act 14, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> More like cash your inside. Yep, that's what I had. <laughs> that's what I had. Um, I had the exact same thing, so I'm just gonna say like, um, don't commit crimes on probation. That's my um, <laughs> advice to her since Amir stole my five words. All right, so she's sentenced to five years of probation. These things happened before the incident on Dr. Phil. Yes. Um, but like, what do you what do you think of the fame that came to this 14 year old girl? Honestly, the first thing I'm thinking of is what was I doing when I was 14? <laughs> I was wearing studded belts. I was really into studded belts. Awesome. Hot I had topic. a triangle haircut. Okay. You did. I was playing Pokemon on my Game Boy. So right. that's what I was no doing. No Grand Theft Auto Definitely, for young Darren. I mean, unfortunately, no. I can't say I'm as badass as, as, as this girl, but uh, this I just, happened it's unreal. Yeah, this happened before the Dr. Phil show. Yeah. She talked about it on the Dr. <laughs> Phil show. Um, she will be allowed to serve her probation in the state of California. I don't think, in the grand scheme of things, this will affect her life, but it is strange when I hear that she's 14, I'm reminded she is 14. Wow, that is a mature 14 year old. Is mature the right no, word? Okay. No, but I know what you're saying. She, she's doing she, like she's things only grown up criminals She looks like do. a grown woman too. She is. She yeah. does. She doesn't look like a 14 year old. She looks like a 14 year old to me. I watched her YouTube channel. Yeah, she has a she has a very active YouTube channel. Supremely she successful. She's got like one and a half million yeah. subscribers. She's been around since does January. Does her probation say anything about not being allowed to do so social that's media a good stuff? Because it's a conversation should. topic. Yeah, really. Because what happened, if I'm following the progression of her fame is, she uh, stole a car, uh, had a lot of weed, whatever, and she's 14 though. And then um, she filed a false re police report. Then she got super famous, like, and was for being terrible. And so, like, that progression, I don't think is something that I necessarily want to support. No. Right. I wonder if. Like they also say, like if you get into the juvenile detention system, it doesn't really help. It mm -hmm. frequently just introduces you to other people, and everyone else just kind of goes on doing terrible things. Um, but I did watch her YouTube channel, and she seems like moderately well adjusted on it. Yeah, really. I, I think that I it is it too, yeah. a little bit. I, not even a little bit, I think a lot of it is an act where she saw that she got famous for doing certain things on Dr. Phil, so she knows that how she can make the news in certain ways. But when you watch her YouTube channel and how she connects with her supporters, people that have followed her, she is pretty down to earth. Yeah, I saw the one, I don't know if there was She's one of these normal. articles. Who she was like, if I don't smile in photos that I take with people on the street, it's because I hate smiling. Like I don't like how I look when I smile. She showed her, her vulnerability mm -hmm. and then she said, I love you guys. It's nice that you wanna mm -hmm. take pictures of me. I'm famous because of you. Like all these things seem moderately positive. Now it is a well produced, well edited, well um, put together YouTube channel. So I wonder if her producers on it are like, Kind of taking a lead and making her at least seem presentable. Right. And if she does an impression all the time of that presentable self, maybe she'll end up kind of figuring it out as she goes along. The one thing I know about when I was 14 is I didn't have anything figured out. I yeah. was, a, I was yeah. kind of a mess. I was wearing flip flops all the time when I was 14. That, so that's is, just that is a crime, yeah. Putting on a lot of Abercrombie and Fitch cologne. You should have been <laughs> on <laughs> probation just for that. Yeah, <laughs> probably. probably. I, I didn't even get famous for doing those yeah, things. I know, I hope that she has people around her that um, are advising her in a way that is responsible for the longevity and the sustainability of her career. Because I think she is a really fun personality. That's been, that's been shown, like she is an engaging personality. People like watching her. But 
they like watching her because she was so, like you said, like so sort of egregiously terrible and like unapologetic about right. being that way. I think there's a way to sort of uh, harness that into something that is uh, maybe satirical and funny and productive. Let's just see if they do it. And let's also remember she's 14. She's gonna change a lot. I was straight when I was 14. None of those that. things are gonna happen. But I, mean, I, I have a question, Jake Paul or Danielle Brigoli? What? They, About they what? seem Daniel more or Brigoli. less like the, the same people to me. I don't know why. And the way we the, reward them. Watching her, well, the way we reward them for sure, but watching her YouTube channel, it was an act. Like once she gets into actually communicating real thoughts and feelings, it all kind of melts away. Mm -hmm. And you can watch how like at the end of her answer to the Q&A that she put up, when she realizes she's talked like a like she's not putting on an act for a while, she just goes, all right, bitch, fuck. Like he, she goes right back into doing yeah, right that. Like she turns it. it back on. Yeah, what's what's interesting is I actually watched a video of her dad after she was sentenced to probation. And apparently the mom has totally just like excommunicated the dad from her life. Really? Um, and he's like, I had no idea she was doing drugs. I had no idea she was committing all these crimes until Dr. Phil. Oh so he's like, I'm the only parent in this situation who actually wants what's best for Danielle. So I'm like so concerned that the mom just seems to be kind of just like, Wanting her to be this way and like kind of piggyback like a off cash her cow. My daughter, yeah, I can make exactly. a profit off of my daughter behaving poorly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should adopt her. I guess is sure. what I think you guys are all trying to mm -hmm. say. Yeah, we'll bring her in here yeah. and we'll put her in I don't know some kind of cage or <laughs> some leash. I was situation. gonna say she could like be. We could all raise her. Yeah, like a, as but our no. own. Yeah, not in a cage. We'll take her out. Right? We'll take <laughs> her out for a walk. Make a good dad. Thank you. I will be a good dad. I'm <laughs> really good. To Danielle. To Danielle. I'm your father. <laughs>